Hey everybody, welcome back to another Daikon dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. If you're new to the channel, uh, hi, my name is Daniel, and here we react to music, and I try to figure out what the music and the lyrics mean to me personally. If you enjoy that type of thing, consider subscribing if you want. And today we're going to be reacting to pa Pat, Pat Boone, Ain't That a Shame. This is my, I think this is the first time we are uh, featuring Pat Boone on the channel. Thank you to all the people who requested. Um, and yeah, this is a pretty short song, so let's get right into it. This came out, when did this come out? In the 50s. Cool, cool, cool. It's been a while since we've touched on that decade. Let's go. Three, two, one. You made me cry when All you right. said goodbye. Ain't that a shame? My tears fell like rain. We'll part, ain't that a shame? My tears fell like rain. Ain't that a shame? You're the one to blame. Farewell, goodbye. Although I'll try, ain't that a shame? that um the section that's in between like each uh you may dead me cry da, da. i like that i like that uh like a little bit of aggression in there which um is it feels uncharacteristic for the time period which I, I i like that a lot um yeah there's only 13 comments under this wow okay uh, this is a re-recorded version of the song. He redid this later on, but the chart topper was done in the 50s. Fats Domino's version is way better. Hmm. Let's give Pat credit here. Surprisingly good. So Pat, so Fats Domino covered this song? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Um, good version of the song. Let's see. Huh. It says Elvis was supposed to be the sexy bad boy. Ironically, Pat was such a womanizer, he caused his wife Shirley to have a nervous breakdown. Wouldn't have been able to get away with that today, but in the past, the media was controlled by the studios. That's an interesting comment. Um, in the years prior to the British invasion, only one performer rivaled the chart presence of Elvis Presley, and that was Pat Boone. With his trademark white buck shoes, perfectly combed hair, and gleaming smile, Boone was the very essence of wholesome American values, and at a time when the rise of rock and roll was viewed as a sign of the apocalypse, he made the music appear safe and non-threatening, earning some 38 top 40 hits in the process. It is fitting that his achievements rank close to those of Presley. After all, both claim the sound of black R&B culture for their own, in the process straddling both sides of the color line and popularizing a form of music which otherwise might have never gained widespread acceptance. 
Of course, while Elvis, with his flashy suits, swiveling hips, and suggestive leer, remained persona non grat grata grata throughout many corners of the mainstream America, Boone was embraced by teens and parents alike. His music's polished rock polished rock's rough edges away, making songs like Tutti Fruity and Ain't That a Shame palatable to audiences raised on soothing pop traditions of a vanishing era. Hmm. All right, that's actually a lot of good information there. Uh, yeah, and the lyrics are very, you know, you made it sounds like they're about a breakup. Ain't that a shame? My tears fell like rain. It's a shame, and you're the one to blame. You know, it's uh, very catchy, um, very poppy, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's Pat Boone. Ain't that a shame? This video is super short. Wow. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, let me know what other songs by Pat Boone you'd like me to check out, or you know, we do need to get into Elvis. We've been, I've, like, I've said this a few times in the past, I know very little about Elvis, um, and I feel like that's a part of music education that must be, you know, rectified as soon as possible, so, um, yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably dive into some Elvis soon, maybe I'll do one or two, a, a couple tracks by him to kind of ease into that, um, but thank you so much for joining me, um, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys soon, Deathstroke 9 out. Stay tuned for more videos.